Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. John Coleman and I have a very special guest, Dr. Luz Lister. And um, what are we going to talk about today? Well, why don't you ask John? Why, why don't you just spontaneously ask a question? <laughs> It's not spontaneous oh. at all. Dr. Liz, great to see you. Likewise, gentlemen. Thanks. Um, it's not spontaneous because, Dr. Liz, I know you told us that the topic for today is taking care of your largest organ. <laughs> ah. now, you know and I know that men are going to read that differently than women. <laughs> or both. You never know. Mm -hmm. mm. So your largest organ is your skin. Am I correct? Correct. That's yeah, right. So Tell us about taking care of your skin. Or really, first of all, I, even before you get into that, I have a question because um, when I had um, my my uh, little cancer, whatever that's precancerous stuff is, taken off my nose, the doctor told me that all skin is the same and that it's different in different places, but the what did he say? The architecture of the skin is the mm. same. Is that true? Your skin is yes. essentially the same all over your body? Yes, that's basically true. And it's got Amazingly. seven layers or something? I don't know the details. Right, exactly. Well, I, I've simplified it a little bit more for our purposes. It's true. Depending on how you count the different technical layers of the cells, there could be seven layers or 10 layers but there are basically three layers for people to think about in terms of how we take care of the skin. And before I even share with you all the th those three layers, when I was studying up on this, I was amazed to be reminded that one inch of skin on our bodies, at least on the external, has about 19 million cells. Sure. All right, just of the skin cells. And that also has 60,000 what are called melanocytes. Melanocytes give the pigmentation or the color to that skin. And also, there's more, a thousand nerve endings and 20 blood vessels. And that's just in every single inch oh, of our skin over our whole bodies. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah. Complicated stuff. Very, very complicated. It's a very important organ. Doctors refer to the skin as an organ. It yeah. protects against infection. It regulates body temperature. It really has quite a few functions. And of course, detecting sen and experiencing sensation, right? If we feel outside influences or we feel touch. So the skin yeah. does all of that. Yeah. Hmm. It's it's an amazing uh, thing. And uh, what the doctor told me was that uh, because the skin architecture is essentially the same, um, he said, you know, the, the color, the differences between races and things like that really doesn't mean anything. It, it's correct. The melanin uh, stuff that all skin yes. is the same. Correct. Yeah. Yes. We all originated from somewhere probably in northern part of Africa and melanin com consistency has varied based on where people migrated to. So that's so, exactly right. It's extremely so, minor in terms of differences between people. So this log, largest organ, uh, both John and I, and I'm sure many of our viewers uh, see a dermatologist regularly. And if you don't, you should. Uh, right. About three or four years ago, I had a melanoma on the top of my head removed. Uh, and it was uh, I was actually in an operating uh, theater. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I was lucky they didn't have to take skin from other places to replace it. But apparently, skin cancer is either far more prevalent, or at least it's being um, that's the thing most of us think about uh, with uh, the skin. Uh, is it just more prevalent now, as uh, or is it just that it's being diagnosed more often? Yes, it's a combination. And when we do part two, we'll talk more about that. We'll go into some of those stats. We'll okay. make sure to to address that and how people can prevent it and take care of their skin. So besides 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 now giving a a new meaning uh, and value to hey give me some skin man, which was <laughs> I grew up with. Uh, You're is there any? Yourself. Is there? Yeah. Well, 
thank you. And I, and for the next 25 years, I hope to keep dating myself. Yeah. Um, is there anything else we should know in general about the skin? Yes. And maybe even just some basic things that we can do to uh, protect this largest organ in our body, men and women. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, a men and women, all humans, our skin structure or architecture, as John said, is pretty straightforward. And this is how I like to think about it. And this is useful to think about it because then the products that we use and the procedures that people have done make more sense. The first layer is the epidermis. Let me tell you the three and then we'll say just a little bit more. All right. And then we'll see how much time we have now because we can definitely, we, we could talk a lot about this. So the three layers are the epidermis, the dermis is in the middle, and hypodermis is below. So hypo is below, that's the way I remember it. Yeah. So epidermis on the outside, this is the outermost layer, it's the waterproof barrier on most of our body. As we were just talking about, it creates our skin tone and it sheds at least 40,000 cells every single day all over the body, all these different areas of the body. And so about every 30 days, we have all new skin cells on the epidermis. No kidding. Yeah, yeah move, pretty amazing. Move off of snakes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now the dermis is the middle section and that's 90% of the thickness of our skin. The dermis is where a lot of action is. There's the connective tissue, there the hair follicles are rooted in the dermis, there are sweat glands, there are nerve endings. So this area of the skin is super active, it's making oil, there's the oil glands, there's sweat glands, and a lot of blood flow is happening in this thickest layer of the skin. And last but not least is the hypodermis. All right, so the hypodermis, that's where there's a layer of fat, there's connective tissue, there's the connection from the skin to, it's, it's like a cushion. So picture a cushion around the bones, around the muscles. There are the larger nerves and blood vessels. And this layer, this hypodermis has a lot to do with helping us regulate body temperature. Those are the three layers. A lot more to talk about where the collagen is. I guess I should mention collagen. We all care a lot about our collagen because we lose collagen as we get older. Our body gets less efficient at making collagen. But the collagen is 70% of that middle layer, the dermis. That part is collagen. All right, yep. there's collagen and elastin. So that's the strength and the softness and the flexibility of the skin. Okay, now those those are two buzzwords that I think we've all heard. Collagen, of course, is uh, used. It, it's mm. there's all kinds of things that are sold. We can put collagen in your skin, plump it up, you look better, you look younger. Get rid of the uh, yeah. lines, and so on and so <laughs> forth. Is 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 and co we make collagen? I assume we do we make our own mm. collagen. We do absolutely. Is it made in the skin? Right in Correct. the skin. Correct. Yes. And that's and, right. Can you actually add somebody else's collagen? Does it really help? Does that work? Well, there are so many procedures out there nowadays. It's pretty much a multi-billion dollar industry. I believe, yeah. Yes, uh, yes. So so that that about. already tells me that some of it works and some of it doesn't. Uh, Correct. But everybody, but everybody wants it. Right. But you said one other term, which is actually the first time I've heard of it called the lesson. And that seems to be uh, something that when we get back to another uh, uh, chapter, another episode we're going to want yes. to talk about because that seems to have something to do with maybe how the skin is tight or sags. Right. Is that possible? Correct. That's right. Absolutely mm. correct. Lots to talk about because that's where a lot of products are being used. So we could do a whole piece just on that. We'll talk all about those different products that people are shooting up into their faces and other parts of the body too, like the back of the hand, people want it to look more plump, that changes and we lose some tissue and elasticity in our skin in different areas around the body. And people are a little bit <laughs> obsessed at this point, yeah. at least now, in the United States, we're, mm. we're a little worse than other parts. Uh, yeah, we are. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Liz, before we go um, and, and get into part two about taking care of your skin. Yes. Um, 
am I correct that as we, uh, first of all, if we don't take care of our skin, we, we can see changes in it and, and de degradation and whatever, but just aging, just being on the planet an extra 10 or 20 or 30 years yes. changes our skin too. Don't we lose elasticity? I mean, that's why we get jowls and, you got and it. creepy skin on the back of our hands. Yes. Am I correct? This is, it all yeah. changes with age, correct? Correct. You're absolutely right. This has to do with the efficiency with which our bodies make the collagen as time goes by. That's exactly ah. right. Ah, so yeah. both the elasticity and the um, thickness, thickness the strength, is, yes, is due to collagen. Primarily, yep, seventy percent. Oh, okay. Well, well, I'll tell you what. Now that now that we've had sort of like this overview on on our largest organ, all of us, <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to uh, further discussing in another episode things we can do to help keep our skin in as good a condition as possible yes. and uh, maybe separate the wheat from the chaff of what might work, what probably doesn't work, and uh, uh, maybe what we'd be best spending our time and money on for good skin health. Yeah. Good. Looking forward to that. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.